The title of this session is Beginners and Other Endangered Species. And the reason for that title is that I would like to see beginners become an endangered species in the seniors computer group. And uh, this session is, is organized along those lines. I'm going to assume that a beginner might ask some of the following questions if uh, he were presented with his computer on a, on a rather bad day. Like, uh, what's all that stuff on the screen? Uh, and even if he doesn't ask this question, he or she, uh, it, I, I've, I've learned that some beginners have this awful feeling in the back that says, are you sure I won't break it? My wife slash husband will kill me. Uh, and then there are other questions like, what do you mean double click? And even more important, where do I start? And how do I stop? And the one that I hear all the time when people are trying to write things down and, and they're not sure whether they're listening or writing or, or memorizing or panicking, it's what do I do if I don't remember all this stuff you just told me? So this session is going to attempt to answer all those questions and I'm going to start at the end. What do I do if I don't remember all this? Well, you can find the answer to any computer question you have on your computer. I am absolutely convinced of this. You may not be convinced of this and you may not really do it right the first time you try, but if you are adventurous and confident and try, you really can. If you don't remember something, but you have a general idea of the subject that you're looking for, you simply go to the index of your computer. If you went to the library and were looking at a reference book, you would look in the index of that reference book for the subject or the, the item that you were looking for. When I couldn't remember this morning how to put coolant in my car, I went to the instruction book on my car and looked in the index under coolant. Really, that's a true statement. I just did that several hours ago. You can do it here on your computer. You go to Start. You click Start. Then you find something that says Help or Help and Support or I don't know what it says in Windows 95, but there is a help place above start in all the Windows editions. You click that and pretty soon a window comes up that gives you an option of selecting the index in your reference book. See up here at the top it says index right there. So you click on the index and you get a place to put in the thing that you're thinking about. Now, supposing you heard somewhere that you can put a computer in hibernation, but you really don't remember how or what or if you want to or anything else. You just remember the word hibernation because it's polar bear time. So you type in H. I. Look at that. Even after HI, the first thing you get is hibernation. Then you go to the first thing under overview and you click, dis you either double click this or you click display. I'm going to click display. And it gives you a lot of stuff to read about hibernation. So that's the answer to the question, what do I do if I don't remember all this? You just remember one word and you know if that doesn't work, if you, if you didn't remember hibernation but maybe you remembered that it had something to do with power 
Okay, so you come over here and you put in power. P-O-W-E-R. And, well, I guess it was, it could be power failure. No, I don't think it's power failure. It might be power management. Maybe I would look there under portable computers power management. Or, actually, what it is is power options right here. So, power options, well, maybe it isn't. <laughs> That's interesting. If I display that, what do I get? No topic associated with that. Common tasks, display, common task, power options. Well, I lied. <laughs> At any rate, this is how you do it. You wander around in the index looking for words that have something to do with what you think you're looking for, and the more you read, the more you learn. So, that's what you do if you don't remember all this. Now, the next one is, how do I stop? Well, any time that you are running your computer and things go to <clears throat> heck in a handbasket, or your wife says, when are you going to get off that computer and come help me with the... or your husband. This is an equal opportunity problem. How do you stop? You click... To stop, you click start. That's one of Bill Gates' favorite things. Then you either get something that says turn off computer or shut down or something very similar, and you click that. And then you get a selection that offers you two or three options, one of which is usually to turn it off completely. I'm not going to click that because if I did, this program that I'm recording this on would also stop and we would have to start over again completely. Or to stand by, or to restart, which is often what you really want to do when things get bad and you want to clear out your computer and start over again. So, but if you just want to shut it down, that's where you click. And to get rid of that, you can click the, you can type, I'm, I'm now you can't see this, but I'm typing the escape button, and that gets rid of that. Where do I start? Depends on what you want to do. If you want to do word processing, you go to Start, Programs, and then you go to your favorite word processing, pr processing program, if you have one in Microsoft Office, or if you just want something really simple, you go to Accessories, and you click WordPad and you have a perfectly good word processing program that comes up with not all the bells and whistles of Microsoft Word or WordPerfect or, or um, Lotus Word Pro, but you have a perfectly good word processing program. If you want your email program, you go to Start Programs and then you go to your internet service provider program. Mine is America Online. And there it is up there. And there is my current program, America Online 9.0. Whenever you see, whenever you go to start, and then programs, and you come up, come up to the place that you're looking for, and you see one of these arrows to the right, it means that there is something else that's going to come up. Like in America Online, it gives me a choice of a whole bunch of stuff about America Online. I happen to have two America Online programs on this computer. Here's America Online 8.0 and here's America Online 9.0. I can open either one of them. Now if you're going to go on the internet, you would probably go to Start, Programs, and Internet Explorer. You notice that this one here does not have an arrow next to it. So if I click on that, the program Inter Microsoft Internet Explorer will open. There it is. I'm going to shut that down and go on to the next question. Oh, before I do, you should 
learn what programs you have on your computer. You should start each one. You should, after you get it running, click help and read the table of contents. You will learn a lot about your computer. The next question that I have seen, heard asked, and, and others, many like it, is what do you mean double click? That's a basic question about how to use your mouse. Well, for a lot of basic questions, beginners should go to the various tutorials that are in their operating systems. Uh, for Windows 98, you go to Start, Help, Index, then you type in Welcome, etc., etc. It's written down here. Uh, for XP, there are a couple of tutorials, and they can be found a couple of different ways. You can go to Start and Help. And when the help screen comes up, which takes a while, you can go to what's new in Windows XP, and it will run a tutorial. But it's not terribly basic. It really is what's new in Windows XP. If you want to go to one of the more basic tutorials in XP, you go back to Start up to Programs, up to Accessories, then over to Microsoft Interactive Trading, and you click there, and you get the following. You double click on the part place you want to start. seconds, you'll learn how to get the most out of this Microsoft Interactive course. To start, double-click a unit and lesson title in the table of contents. Then, double-click a topic to play. Use these buttons on the dashboard to stop, pause, or play. Use these buttons to And we're going to stop. Right there. This is a very long course and it has all sorts of stuff in it. And you can wander around in the menu, uh, copying and moving files, uh, creating shortcuts, all sorts of things that are basic to Windows. And once again, that is found by going to Start, and programs, and accessories, and Microsoft Interactive Training, and clicking there, and it will start. Whatever Windows operating system program you have, you would be well advised to find uh, directions to the tutorials in it, and a great guy to help you do that he just helped me. I called him about <laughs> 10 minutes ago because I had forgotten where to find the tutorial in XP. That's Paul Alardi. He has put out lots of these find the tutorial in your operating system documents. The last one I have goes here to Windows 98, but I think he has a new one or at least is working on it. 